Our focus here is the operations of this disaster. Right now, we've been tasked with looking at bringing in tanks and also additional personnel to make sure that we do have water, the best quality water provided to our people. We have two different incident command posts that are out there right now. We have the Kienta incident command post and we also have the Shiprock incident command post. The good thing that we've seen out of this is that our community has come together. Many people have come out to help, many want to help, but they just don't know how. So we've developed a team effort here in Shiprock to respond to the very basic and essential needs of our farmers and our livestock people. It's brought our community together. It's always great to work with uh, community people to, to help the community and to bounce back from the um, natural disaster that happened or from the mine spill. The Navajo Nation declared an emergency and that they uh, the message is to n do not utilize the river water at this time, which is the San Juan River, and for their own uh, protection, health-wise. You got to be prepared if you're a farmer, and a farmer you don't stop at one point. There's there's always strategies when you're a farmer. I mean, you look at the economy as far as fuel going up, or you look at your plantation. It's best to be positive and we're very appreciative with either Navajo Nation or BIA, whoever is providing the water. It's, uh, it's available. I mean, we didn't have a problem and there is, I'm sure there's guys and ladies that's either donating their time or working overtime to be here. And there's several CDL drivers that were hauling water, which we're appreciative. So you just gotta be positive and just have faith. We haul 5,000 gallons of water, sometimes two times a day, and people come here, they load up. They've got some people from Shiprock, from Gariai, and the surrounding community for their animals and their crops. So we feel good about what we're doing. Thank you for that, and I say for that. Grow season really well every year, but the quality is a little short water, but still, still to make it up. That you're doing every year. I'm proud of that. You know, I had to proud of that. My heavenly father used to give me a great blessing every year. So not now they said that the world is uh, concerned, but uh, not really. I know it's just uh, faithful to, to have the rain. Hopefully, going in a couple more days, it probably is just enough to wet it down to keep growing. Because that I've been that way for many years. You know that with my father's, my grandpa, and my relative, the, the farm consists I went small, so I grew up in the farm, and I love the farm, I love to do that, I love to walk around and see that growing, and, and talking to that, you know, the, talking to the plant, and you, you're beautiful, you know, keep growing, and so that's the way it is, you know, that's, they, they can hear, they can, they can enjoy it if you're talking to, you know, I don't say that, well, you're going to be not water, but I'm not going to say that. So, so I just, just wanted to, to say that, that I'm not, uh, I'm not really wanted to get on with somebody, you know. We all had a, a way to just survive, you know. We're not, we're not really that bad, I think. Hopefully we're going to have the water back in shortly, so that's what they're talking about. But, so I'm unhappy with what I have here.